Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. In today's video, I will show you how you can turn your glow from this into something like this. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already set up a composition to show you guys how this glow technique works. And over here we have these two layers. So one is this glow text layer which has this gradient ramp effect on it. And the other one is a simply a black solid which has this effect called CC particle world. So I'm going to use this just to demonstrate to you how this effect works. Now if you want you can apply the effect directly onto these layers. But for this example, I'm going to create an adjustment layer and then apply the glow effect on top of it. So let's right click and go to new. I'm going to create an adjustment layer. And first I'm going to disable the black solid so that we can focus on our text only. And now I'm going to apply the glow effect. So let's search for the glow. And what most of the people do is they simply search for glow and then they just apply it onto the whatever layer they want. And after that, they just usually increase the glow radius or play with the intensity however they want. So this is the result that you get after applying the glow effect onto a layer. Now, if you want to enhance this more, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another adjustment layer so that I can show you how this effect works. So I'm going to disable this one and now I'm going to apply the same glow effect onto this layer as well. And on this one, I'm going to first increase the glow a little bit then I'm going to reduce down the intensity something like this then I'm going to select the glow then you can press ctrl D to duplicate it or you can apply the glow effect once again but I prefer to select the layer then press ctrl D now you can see that we have created a duplicate of this layer and now on this one I'm going to increase the glow radius quite a bit and then just simply lower down the intensity to something like 0.3 or maybe 0.2 and we can play around with the glow radius and things like that now I'm going to duplicate this one last time so select this press ctrl D so now you can see that we have three glow layers and on this one I'm going to increase the value quite a bit so something like this so now you can see that right away we have three different glow layers and you can see that this is the kind of look that we are getting so I can disable this layer and enable the first one so you can see the difference between these two. So this is the stack of three glow layers and this is the single layer. So you can see that both gives you a very different result. Now if you want you can play around with these values so you can increase the glow radius and let's decrease the glow intensity something like this. Now in order to enhance this mode you can search for an, another effect called exposure and or you can just simply drag it onto this layer as well now you can increase the exposure amount so if I increase this slightly you can see that we are adding more glow to our layer just to show you the comparison I can disable this one and enable this one so you can see that this is the before and this is the after so there's a huge difference between these two and you can play around with this as well so if I increase this you can see that now our glow is increasing but you will notice that it will make your text white so just don't overdo this you can just simply play with it something like this now these are completely experimental you can go ahead and play around with the different settings and it will give you some really nice results and on top of this what you can do is you can simply apply an hue and saturation effect so just search for it and let's apply it on top of it and if you want you can increase the saturation to have more colors over here but for this one let's make it zero and you can play around with the master hue so that you can check out the different results how this effect will look on different glow types again if you want to lower the value you can just simply use the sliders now let's check out the difference so i'm going to copy this hue saturation on this one as well and now i'm going to enable this and let's take a snapshot of this and now i'm going to disable this one so here you can see that so this is the single glow layer and this one is the stack glow layer with exposure effect 
and we can also check out the same effect on the particles as well on this one i'm going to delete the hue and saturation so let's delete this effect and i'm going to stick with this default effect so on this one we can probably increase the exposure so you can see that it is making them bright now if i disable this and enable the glow over here so you can see that there is a big difference between these two so this is the default glow effect and this is the look that you get after stacking the glow effect so you can see that it makes a huge difference between these two so this is how you can create the perfect glow effect in after effects one more tip if you want you can select all these effects and then you can save it as a animation preset so you can go to animation then save animation preset and after that it will ask you where you want to save the preset and once you have saved it you can just simply search for the preset using it by typing its name over here and then you can apply the custom made glow effect onto any layer you want so i hope you learned something from this video if you guys have any queries or question you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one